hey guys hope you all are doing well in today's session we are going to see what is an application server in blue prism in blue prism the application server refers to the server where the blue prism application is hosted and managed so in day-to-day uh, -day life we have heard uh, a lot of times that server is not working server is down Generally, we talk about a website server like uh, we host our websites on a web server. Similarly, we can host our Blue Prism application on an, an application server. And this server is responsible for running Blue Prism processes, managing user access and overseeing other administrative tasks related to the Blue Prism environment. It provides a centralized platform for deploying and uh, managing RPA solutions uh, built using Blue Prism technology. And uh, Blue, in Blue Prism, uh, that uh, application server is not a, not a standalone term. However, Blue Prism typically interacts with various application servers or systems where the automated processes are executed. The Blue Prism server is an optional but important component that marshals database connections and removes the need to configure direct connections between the various Blue Prism components and the database. When implemented, all Blue Prism components like interactive clients and runtime resource connects to the Blue Prism server service. Additionally, Blue Prism servers can be added to an environment to provide increased scale and capacity. Typically, Blue Prism servers are deployed to dedicated virtual server. However, these are options to co-host Blue Prism servers that service different environment on the same devices. For example, a single virtual server could host Blue Prism servers for the dev and test environment. And similarly, a single virtual server could host Blue Prism servers for production and one. So we can use different app server uh, so that uh, we can divide our environments or our data or processes. We can create a separate server for dev or test and we can create a separate server for production. Because if there are lot of processes, lot of data only in one server then it will become slow so we can divide it so that we it will perform so that uh, the performance will be good the blue prism server is responsible for the key used by encrypted vacuums and credentials and also manages the execution and allocation of the scheduled processes where blue where multiple blue prism servers are deployed for the same environment all of them must be configured with the same encryption scheme information and those which have the scheduler enabled must be configured to use the same time zone so here we can see blue prism application server it is connected with the database server and also with the interactive blue prism interactive client and blue prism runtime resource because this is a centralized system means if Blue Prism interactive clients need some data from the database server so it will go to the Blue Prism application server and then application server will get the data from the database server and it will provide the data to the Blue Prism interactive client Blue Prism application server should not be installed on any domain or network where there is a internet facing access. The Blue Prism Pro platform should be implemented into your environment as a separate entity. This can be achieved through negative uh, network segregation, for example, using jump servers for cross domain travel or other similar method. It is advised that you also consider the robotic operating model security information on the Blue Prism portal recommendation of best practices so this is the definition of Blue Prism application server do let me know if you still have any doubt related to application server I will let you know I will provide you all the details thank you so much guys for watching this video bye bye